Dear students, today I will go for some problems regarding the nonst equation. And in the nonst equation, we know the E cell is equal to E naught cell minus 0.059 by n into log q. So this is the nonst equation. So let's say I want to apply the nonst equation to find what is the concentration of copper 2 plus in the given cell representation. So here this is the anode part and this is the cathode part and we know at anode the oxidation reaction takes place. So at anode the copper is converted to copper 2 plus. So on the right side I will add 2 electron to balance it. Similarly at the cathode the reduction will be take place and what is the reduction here? The reduction is Cl to Cl minus because here oxidation number is minus 1, here oxidation number is 0. So if I will do the reduction, the oxidation number should decrease. So that is Cl2 is converted to Cl minus. So that means that indicates oxidation number is decreases from 0 to minus 1. So Cl2 is converted to Cl minus. So I will add 2 electron in the right hand side. On balancing, I will add 2 electron here. So that indicates what is the net cell reaction of it. The net cell reaction, when I go for the net cell reaction, will cancel the electron. So here I will cancel the two electrons. So N is here 2. So 2 electron, 2 electron will be cancelled. So here the copper plus Cl2 is giving Cu2 plus plus 2 Cl minus. So I want to find out, my aim is to find out the concentration of copper 2 plus in my given cell. So that indicates M is unknown for me. So for that reason, I want to find out what is the value of N first. And the E cell, E net cell value has given in your question. So what is the N value here? N is 2 because number of electron cancelled for the net cell reaction is 2. And what is the Q here? The Q is your concentration of copper 2 plus into concentration of Cl minus 2 divided by 2 divided by concentration of copper into concentration of Cl2. As the copper is a pure solid and it is in elemental states, so I can take its concentration times to 1 and the chlorine also we can take the concentration is 1. So what is the concentration of copper 2 plus? The concentration of copper 2 plus is unknown for me. So let's say I will take this as M and what is the concentration of Cl minus? That is it has given 0 0.2. So I write this is 0 0.2. In your question it has given 0 0.2. So I will write 0 0.2 to the power 2. So that is equal to how much? That is 0.04 N. So this is the Q value. And the E cell value in your question has given it is 1.146 voltage. E cell value has also given is 1.012 voltage. So now I will put all this value in the nonst equation. So when I will put all this value in the nonst equation, in the place of E cell, I am writing this is your 1.146 is equal to E naught cell value. I will put E naught cell value is your 1.012 minus 0 0.059 and what is the n? n we are calculating that is your 2 into log q value we are calculating this is 0 0.04 n. So if I want to take this into the left hand side I can write 1.146 minus 1.012 is approximately equal to on dividing we can write this is 0 0.03 approximately so that is minus 0 0.03 into log 0. 0.04 m so here so here it is 1.146 minus 1.012 so this is approximately become 0 0.134 0 0.134 is it so 0 0.134 is equal to minus 0 0.03 whole into log I can put x into y formula that is log x plus log y so log 0 0.04 plus log n so now that can be written as that is minus 0 0.134 by 0 0.03 is your log 4 into 10 to the power minus 2 plus log n so that implies what is the value of log one point uh, log zero? What is the value of zero point one three four by zero point zero three? If I want to calculate, its value will become approximately 
is it is coming approximately minus 4.47 is equal to this is your log 4 into 10 to the power minus 2 so I can write that is your log 4 plus log 10 to the power minus 2 plus log n so log 4 is your 0 0.6 log 10 to the power minus 2 is your minus 2 plus log n so that is your minus 1.4 plus log n so that implies what is log n so I can log m is your minus 4.47 plus 1.4 so that will be is your minus 3.07 so we are getting this value is your minus 3.07 so what is the m so I can write now m is your sorry this will be not uh, 7 and this is 0 this is 3 minus 3.07 so m is your that is your anti log of anti log of minus 3.07 so that can be written as this is your 10 to the power minus 3.07 so anti log of minus 3.07 can be written as 10 to the power minus 3.07 so I can say the concentration of copper 2 plus what we are getting is 10 to the power minus 3.07 so this is the methods to calculate the concentration of unknown solution. Now we have little bit idea about the non equation and how it is implemented for the calculation of cell potential and for the calculation of concentration of solution in the unknown solution. And this is also help to calculate the equilibrium constant and solubility product. So let I will go for the next is your reference electrode. So we are going for the calculation of we are going for the reference electrode. So what is the meaning of reference electrode? Generally, if I am telling the word reference that indicates that it is one of the helping electrode. This reference electrode helps to calculate the electrode potential of one electrode. If we know the electrode potential of another electrode, means I can say what is the meaning of reference electrode? This is the electrode whose potential value is known and by the help of this electrode we can calculate the potential value of other electrode present in the cell. For example, let's say you are taking a cell and it consists of two half cell that is one is the oxidation half cell and another is your reduction half cell and these two half cell is connected by the help of a salt bridge and it is connected to the voltmeter and let's say this is the oxidation half cell and this is the reduction half cell. Let's say you know the potential value of this electrode. This is the known potential value. Let its reduction potential value is let's say is 2 voltage and we do not know what is the potential value of this electrode. And we are connecting in a voltmeter and this voltmeter indicate the cell potential is let's say 5 voltage. Let the cell potential is let's say 5 voltage. So I can say what is E cell? We know E cell is your E oxidation potential at a node plus E reduction potential at cathode. So E cell value we are calculating from the voltmeter that is your 5 voltage. So that is your that is your E oxidation potential at a node and E reduction potential of cathode this is the known one so that is the 2 voltage. So that implies I can say what is the E oxidation potential at a node? E oxidation potential at a node is your 3 voltage. So that indicates this is the reference electrode because by using this electrode I am able to calculate the electrode potential of the this electrode and due to this reason I can say for this cell this cathode is one of the reference electrode and remember the reference electrode can be used as cathode as well as you can use as anode here I am telling that I am using this reference electrode as a cathode I am using its reduction potential value is 2 voltage if in any cell you are using the same electrode as anode then we can use its oxidation potential and we know the oxidation potential of a cell is just negative of its reduction potential as its reduction potential is 2 voltage if I want to use this same reference electrode in another cell as an anode then I can see its oxidation potential is your minus 2 voltage so there are the different types of reference electrodes are there I will go one by one how the reference electrode help to calculate the cell potential value. 
So here, how many types of reference electrodes are there? Reference electrodes are two types. Number one is your primary reference electrode. And number two is your secondary reference electrode. The primary reference electrode is also called as SHE or NHE. That is your normal hydrogen electrode or standard hydrogen electrode. And the secondary reference electrode consists of one is your calomel electrode. Another is your hydroquinone electrode. Another is your silver silver chloride electrode. Another is your glass electrode. So those are the secondary reference electrode. And today I will go for the primary reference electrode. In the next class I will start the what is the meaning of secondary reference electrode. The secondary reference electrode is not in the CBSE syllabus. But I will tell who or the students who are oriented for the entrance. So I will go for the primary reference electrode. In the primary reference electrode, this is called SHE or NHE. Here we are taking, let's say this is a container. This container consists of one molar ACL and we are taking a glass tube. And here we want to pass the hydrogen gas under a pressure of 180 by keeping the temperature 25 degrees Celsius. And this glass tube consists of a platinum wire which is with a platinum foil. And this platinum foil is coated with platinum black. And now this electrode can be act as SHE. That is the standard hydrogen electrode. Why we are giving its name is SHE? Because we are taking the temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. Pressure is 180 and the concentration of electrolyte is 1 molar and for that reason we are telling it is standard. As we are giving, we are using the hydrogen gas so that is called standard hydrogen electrode. And this reference electrode can be used as an anode, can be used as an as a also cathode. So what is the function of this reference electrode? When I am using this electrode as anode, then what will happen? We are passing this hydrogen gas under a pressure of 180. To this electrolyte and when I will use is as anode then it undergoes oxidation reaction and when the hydrogen undergoes oxidation reaction it gives 2H plus plus 2 electron and here what is the Q value? Q value is your concentration of H plus to the power 2 by concentration of H2 and the pressure of hydrogen gas we are taking 180 and the concentration of H plus in the solution is also 1 molar so that is your 1 square by 1 so that is your 1. So Q value is 1. And here what is the N? N is the 2. And I am writing this equation for the oxidation. I am taking a node as SHE. SHE as a node. I am taking SHE as a node. So here the oxidation reaction takes place. So I want to put the non-stick equation for the oxidation part which is taking place at a node by using SHE. And we know what is the non-stick equation? Non-stick equation is E cell is equal to E naught cell minus 0 0.059 by N into log Q. So I am putting this equation here. Instead of E cell, I will write this is E of H22 H plus is equal to E naught cell. I will write this is your E naught of H22 H plus minus 0 0.059 because we are taking the temperature is 25 degrees Celsius by N. N is your 2 into log q and already I am getting this q value that is 1 so log 1 and what is the value of log 1 log 1 is your 0 so this tends to 0 so as this tends to 0 so this total value is your 0 and already in the electrochemical series already I told the E naught of H2 to H plus or E naught of H plus to H2 its value is always 0 so this value is 0 minus 0 is 0 so what is E of H2 to H plus E of H2 to H plus is 0 when we are taking the hydrogen gas under a pressure of 180 with the concentration of an electrolyte is 1 molar. So I can say this is the SHE for oxidation potential. So here I can write 
E oxidation potential. This is the SHE oxidation potential. So I can write E oxidation potential of SHE is zero. And if oxidation potential of SHE is zero, that implies what is the E reduction potential of SHE? So we can say E reduction potential of SHE is also zero. So always the oxidation and reduction potential of standard hydrogen electrode is zero. So this is about the primary reference electrode, but it has also the limitation. What are the limitation? Number one, to keep the pressure of hydrogen gas under one atm ratio is very difficult. And number two is that when we are passing the hydrogen gas, if some impurities is added on the surface of platinum surface, then its oxidation potential and reduction potential value may be changes. And number three, this cannot be implemented to calculate the pH value of some acid and base whose pH is greater than 4 and 5. And for that reason, this reference electrode has a limitation and due to this reason, we are going for the next reference electrode that is your secondary reference electrode. So in the next class, I will tell about the secondary reference electrode.